Hi guys, it's Debbie, and today I would like to speak about Alita Battle Angel, the new science fiction, cyberpunk action film starring everybody from Christoph Waltz to Jennifer Connolly, Mahershala Ali, and which represents an unimaginable accomplishments in regards of digital effects, as the main character is completely created through a combination of uh, CGI and motion capture, or to better say, performance capture. Just a quick note to the side before jumping into the review, as you're all huge film lovers like myself, in the description box below I put the link to Pampling where you can find hundreds of cheap but really good quality t-shirts, posters, jumpers, you name it, all based on films, series, music and so on, such as the t-shirt I am wearing today or discounted with the code you'll also find down below. Now Alita Battle Angel is actually based on a manga called Gunmo, but I have never read it, so this review will totally be based just on the film. The story is set in a dystopian future in which most of the population lives uh, day by day in overcrowded cities where only an elite has a hope of a better life. In this future world, technology has an important role. Most of the daily activities are carried out using the aid of robotics or uh, high-tech components in general, and many of the characters have some form of mechanization integrated in their own body. This goes from a simple prosthetic arm to full cyborgs. For example, Alita, our main character, is a cyborg who was found close to death but was rebuilt by Ido, a doctor who becomes more of a father to Alita. But Alita is no common cyborg as she has an exceptional strength, refined fighting skills. Her abilities and her resilient nature soon draw the attention of those surrounding her, some of which have no good intentions. Now, the first thing most people want to know when speaking about this film is how were the effects? Well, in my opinion, they were absolutely incredible. Many of the action sequences in this film were stunning, with an incredible attention to detail. For example, as a big part of the film is the use of machinery, we have fights which include sparks from colliding metal, small components flying about, metal coils, all of this at a high speed but still maintaining small features such as facial expressions movements. But the star of the show is Alita. Many people are curious about this film or have been put off on the basis of she looks weird. Now Alita was created using performance capture which is a an, an extensive use of uh, uh, motion capture. The actor is rigged up with equipment which copies his or her movements onto a computer. It recreates a copy of the actor, in this case Rosa Salazar. The equipment also films her face in, in full detail. So the final version of Elita is a combination of uh, uh, Salazar's acting and then all the CGI on top of that, so the computer generated imagery. So Elita is meant to look human, but not too much, she is a cyborg. So the human eye can spot the differences regardless of how good the effects are. As producer John Landau put it, if you were to take into consideration a film like Avatar, nothing in that film had to look particularly realistic because it wasn't set in a real world. Whereas Alita is set in a real world, she interacts with real people. There is a thing called the uncanny valley. There is this study according to which humans are fine looking at something totally non-human, such as a gigantic metal robot. But as this robot is enhanced to look more and more human, we are still okay with it until it reaches that nearly identical to a human but still not human look. And at that point we feel revulsion for it. Our brain labels it as creepy, unnatural, it basically triggers all a series of reactions at a subconscious level by which our body is wants to avoid it. This probably has to do with factors like reproduction. It will also feel vulnerable put next to something that's human but strong, immortal. Our mind also fights off anything that could be a threat, even comparing the images to bacteria. Basically our mind is just like, nope. Now Alita obviously ticks off a lot of boxes here, but we have channelized the film beyond all the weird reactions of the human brain. So within all of these parameters, her animation was great. Within the film, she was an incredibly well-accomplished character. Throughout the whole film, she is generated in a manner that does not make her less than a human. But instead of simply walking or talking, the animation covers the battles, the, the incredible action sequences and so on. Also, let's say that all the film is real and not real. There's not a real boundary between humans and technology, but it is also developed in a manner by wit it doesn't actually look that real. Even the realistic worldly settings and the real characters are made to look slightly off, slightly perfected, like in a sort of animation or manga strip. For example, there are two characters in particular portrayed by Mahershala Ali and Jennifer Connelly, and in whatever scene they appear, they appear 
basically perfect. It kind of reminded me of films like uh, Ghost in the Shell, where there's this filter over everything, always reminding you it's a fictional story. Even The Matrix was similar to this in its own way. Whereas this wouldn't happen in other science fiction films which cover similar topics, in which there's a definite distinction between real world and technology, such as Ready Player One, or where the film is presented as real, like the Blade Runner films. Okay, but enough with the CGI. How was the actual story? Well, I was expecting something a little more engaging. The actual introduction to Alita took up a large portion of the film, whereas I think a lot of information didn't necessarily need to be specifically pointed out, such as every feature of Alita's body. I think a lot of information could have been left up to the viewer to discover. So by the time we actually got into the story, it was rather far into the film, and then it had to catch up with everything. So if I have to be honest, I didn't like the last section of the film, as it just didn't add up, it was all sped up, it was trying to cram too many concepts into 20 minutes, and also it felt as if there was a strong gap between the effort put into the effects and into the actual storyline, but I don't want to say anything more about the ending because of spoilers. One thing I did like about the story was that it was surprisingly hardcore. I was expecting a way softer storyline, but it went straight through with the action, the language, the images. There would be more to say about this film, but again that would be pushing the spoilers, so I'll stop here. But I would love to hear your thoughts about the film, so make sure to leave a comment down below, even if you haven't seen the film yet. I would like to know what you're expecting from it. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.